Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video, it's just gonna be a very chill sit down talk about what I'm doing after I graduate from my undergraduate program and while waiting for my graduate program semester in the fall. So that's like eight months of gap. What am I doing? I'm working three different jobs. I know you're like, what? She's crazy. But honestly, it's a very, very good experience. So basically a background about me rewind is that I graduated from Queen's Hall last semester my undergraduate uh, program and I'm waiting to go into graduate program also in Queen's College for Masters of Speech and Language Pathology in the fall and so now I have like a gap semester kind of thing so I'm like dabbling different kind of jobs because I want to gain experience gain exposure talk to different people see what it's like in different set settings and like work with different people so what am I doing in this gap semester let me break it down for you I work in the Child Development Center in Queen's College and the second job I work as a teaching assistant also in Queen's College the third job, I also work in Queens as a career peer coach in the career center of my college, which is Queen College. Um, you can see how I'm very tightly knit to my community in college because I'm quite close to the faculty and staff. Yeah, I think I have a pretty good reputation in Queens College. Um, the Child Development Center, what do I do in the Child Development Center? So I'm basically, um, so the children that I work with is like four years old. They are so small and tiny, they are little humans and they're so cute so basically I go in Monday and Thursday from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock on Monday I go in right after my other job so let me break down my schedule for you so it's like you know it's actually not that bad if you think about it it's not that bad so for Monday in the morning from 10 45 to 12 I go to college and work as a teaching assistant and then after that from 1 to 5 I run to the other department the child development center and work there uh, for four hours with the children they're so cute and then we do different activities with the children and everything and I learned so much about being with children because I learned how to handle their behavioral issues sometimes sometimes they cry for no reason they cry because they don't want to share their toys I'm like dang wow is this how I'm like when I'm a kid <laughs> like this boy has two toy cars and then the other boy wants a red car and then this boy wants the red car too and then they're like no I don't want to share and they're crying I'm just like I need to teach them how to share because kids are naturally selfish you need to just teach them how to be a human being how to share what else do I learn in the CDC oh I also learned that there's a difference between a pull-up and a diaper a pull-up is when you it's kind of like a diaper but you don't why, why am I talking about diapers so yes anyway for children you need to really teach them how to be, how to have manners, how to have uh, good manners because children don't have the best manners because you need to teach them. It's all acquired, okay? Um, you need to teach them how to say thank you, say please, and everything like that. No, but they're super cute, I love it. So that's the first job, right? And I also learned how to work with my ad adult co workers. They're so nice, they're from like South America, and I learned a lot about their culture, the food they eat, and everything. My boss is so nice. Everyone there is spectacular and just so, so nice. I love everyone there. And I really, really love, I really actually love everyone there. They're actually really, really nice. Yeah. Mm, so nice. Anyway, and then the second job is a teaching assistant. So for that, what I do is I have uh, actually office hours. So I have seven hours of virtual office hour. And I go in person three hours a week to hear the professor speak and um, make sure that I know the material for the week so that if students come in, that I can teach them that. And I also took the same class last semester so I know what I'm talking about. I'm not like randomly like bull crapping stuff <laughs> out of my mouth uh, and teaching the wrong stuff no okay so seven hours of office hour a week i have office hours um on tuesday 10 to 2 and then also on friday 2 to 5 so students will book an appointment with me they will schedule an appointment they will come to my the zoom link and then i will like go through what they want me to go through so that is my office hour and then also like for exams i will be there i will like proctor the exam so i will look at the students and make sure they don't cheat I will have my eyeballs on everyone no, okay. and make sure they don't cheat um, and then also I help to a professor to scan the exam paper put it back in the I'm a, I help professor with two classes the other class is like it's anatomy so I made notes like two years ago so I still use the same notes to um, help students out and thank god I made the notes because it's super helpful and then that's my tutoring job and then my third job is a center for career engagement I'm a career peer coach so basically it's a stipend so they give me like a chunk of money but I need to work for like 160 hours so what I do basically there is um, we are rolling out this new initiative called grow with Google 
and we're getting students to like um, this program and also like watch the videos because it helps with the career skills and everything and I also help with the marketing team in the career center so I help them create videos, create flyers and also draft emails and also the career center have virtual resume review hours so they kind of coach us and teach us how to review a resume but I'm not really good at that because I'm still very new and I can only do the basic stuff like the formatting and everything but then most of the hard lifting is done by the staff, the full-time staff in the career center. So yeah, there's six of us career career coaches so we all work together um, in rolling out the new initiative with the students on our campus so I also do like presentation uh, online presentation about this course and why they should join the course so it's a lot of uh, talking and marketing and like knowing how to communicate effectively which I'm still learning because sometimes there will be hard people there will be people who are like really annoying because they don't reply to anything like like their communication skills is not there and I'm trying to reach out and then this person is just not replying so like what do I do yeah so you need, there's a lot of situation where I need to learn how to deal with like difficult situation but I'm actually learning a lot from all these different jobs that I'm in because think about it I'm working with children four years old I'm working with college students and I'm also working with adults who are in the industry for like 20 years so I love like the diversity of experience I have because like during our weekly meeting with the career staff we also get to like ask them their insights on what they think about um, their life and any life advice for people who are in their 20s and lost and they're like no problem okay 20s you figure out who you are and 30s she's like it's the best time of my life I'm like really but anyway yes I get to like listen to all this advice and like my my director in the career center she's so nice like she's super nice there's a lot of nice people okay and like I'm so grateful to get to know all these people around me and I feel really really supported in my journey and also I really like to serve the community in my campus as well and I'm really really glad to be able to continue what I'm doing in the fall semester um, because I'll be going to Queen's College again yay so I'll be going to the same college I'll be um, interacting with the people that I have now and also some new people in the graduate level but I'm actually super excited and I really really like this opportunity I have now my guest semester, my free time to explore these different like positions and also um, documenting my journey on YouTube and I really like talking to the camera I think it's because I have no friends I don't know, no I have friends but like I like talking to the camera because it makes me feel nice I like to edit too so yeah and so basically doing three, three jobs on campus and not burning out because I also have like my morning routine where I make sure I fill my cup first before I go out to the world because if I don't fill my cup, I will get pissed at everyone. Okay, I need to make sure I exercise in the morning and do my stuff in the morning so that I have time for other people like after I make time for myself. So yes, that's my three jobs and uh, I basically work like 40 hours a week basically. And yeah. So that's it for this video and this like experience video and let me know what else you want to see down below i'll be making more videos on my graduate school journey so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to follow me for my journey and like this video and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you next, next video bye bye